Okay, everyone, and welcome to this very first Instagram live session that I'm a part of. This is very new to me, and uh, I don't know with Ingrid and Rohit, but uh, let's see how it goes. And uh, we're here to just do a little blast about our world seminar next week. And we have invited two great colleagues from Oslo because two years ago, the world seminar was hosted at uh, and in Oslo and Fontaine Husset in Oslo were part of the planning process and assisting during the conference. So we are just going to hear a bit from you about uh, being host of an international seminar, but also talk a bit about the seminar this year. So my name is Anita Briggs Lambeck. I am program uh, officer with Clubhouse International. I am based in Denmark. And with us, we have two great colleagues from Fontaine Husset in Oslo in Norway, and uh, I would like you to introduce yourself. Hello, hello from Oslo. So I'm uh, Ingrid. Uh, I've been a staff member here for 13 years uh, at Fontenehuse in Oslo, and I'm currently at the uh, kitchen unit. I'm uh, Rohit. Um, I'm uh, currently a member. I've been a member for three weeks now, so I'm fairly new. And uh, I'm a part of the clerical uh, units at the house. Thank you so much. So great being here with both of you today. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Fontaine who said in Oslo. Um, and I would just like to hear from you about the size of your clubhouse in regard to how many members are you attending? And uh, are you fully up and operating after the COVID pandemic close down? Well, now, um, from this week on, we're fully up and operating. Uh, we've been open, we've been closed two uh, times, uh, but been open for quite a while now. Um, now our daily attendance is around 45. Um, prior to Corona, it used to be like between 50 and 60. Uh, so we're aiming to get back to that um, attendance. Attendance. Yes. A little note to that, actually, in the seminar next week, we have one forum about rebooting your work or the day. Um, so maybe for clubhouses that has some struggle in getting back to fully attendance, that would be a great forum to, to join. And uh, the forum is running in every time zone, so everyone should have the opportunity to see that as well. But let's hear more from you guys. I would like to hear in if you could talk about in which way your clubhouse has impacted your life. I know Rohit, you are new with the clubhouse and Ingrid, you has been in the clubhouse for some years, pretty many, <laughs> um, but that's really cool. But uh, could you talk a bit about that? Uh, yeah, I can start. Um, yeah, in my case, having had some struggles, you can sometimes feel a little bit alone if you only surround yourself with family or friends who necessarily haven't had the same kind of experiences before. So coming here to the clubhouse and working with and uh, meeting the members and the employees, you feel seen and heard in a completely different way. You can just come as you are and you, don't and you don't feel like you have to hide parts of yourself or anything like that. So it truly is um, a good support system, which I really think that some of the members, including me, probably had lacked earlier in their life. So because of that, and so many other reasons as well, um, this is a place which is very important to many people. Uh, it brings a sense of um, community and belonging, and even like a family as well, which is so important. So although I've only been here for three weeks, I've only had the positive things to say about this place so far. <laughs> I totally agree with that. Um, it's, it's a very important community and uh, for me it's, it's a big part of my life being here for 13 years uh, and I've learned a lot about uh, of, course, of course mental health but also about myself uh, and what, what people are able to do. Um, it's been quite interesting and I've <laughs> learned a lot during this 13 years. Really great to hear. I was once, I was staff in two clubhouses in Denmark before I came to Clubhouse International. And it is true that it's, 
you you learn so much every day and not a single day is the same and and it's such a special thing that you get these really strong relationships with each other that it becomes more than if you are a staff at work it becomes a part of your entire identity and i think that is why also we see staff like you ingrid that stays around for so many years because it's not just a job it's it's a part of who you are and it's just so wonderful to see people coming into the clubhouse and like you Rohit you know you have been in the clubhouse for three weeks but you can already put words on what kind of a community a clubhouse is and why it is a special thing to be able to access a clubhouse um, and talking about that I just want to hear if, if if you by any chance can talk a bit about how you see clubhouses impact the community because in Norway the model is growing rapidly we welcome new member clubhouses every year so can you talk a bit about that uh, yes we can um, one thing that we see that we we have a cooperation with the um, university here in Oslo so we are there giving lectures about the, our model and uh, we also have students here on placements uh, and when they are educated they bring their knowledge about the uh, our model into their daily work which helps us get uh, gain members and also that people within the mental uh, health sector get to know us and know that we are um, we have a clubhouse that people can attend uh, and the students, you were talking about relationships. That is the one thing I always mention to our students here on placement. If there's one thing you can learn from here uh, is how to build a strong relation. Uh, and that's very important, I think. Definitely is. Thank you. I, I would like us to move into talking about the World Seminar. I know that you are planning on attending. And this year it's a, uh, slightly different than we have tried before because it's all virtual and already in early spring we decided to do it virtually this year to make sure that everyone had the opportunity to join we didn't want anyone to not joining because of travel restrictions so we have planned the the, the world seminar to be fully virtually so we start on monday with an opening plenary and and uh, the following day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we will have 15 different forums that will run in different times. So everyone should have the opportunity to join the forums that they're interested in at the time that fits in, in your time zone. So I'm just curious to hear a bit uh, from you in regard to uh, the, the wealth seminar this year. Um, I, have you seen some of the forums that you're already now planning on attending? Yeah, it's quite many of them we find interesting. Um, we've uh, thought about it, or there will be many we will attend, uh, but two in particular. Uh, one is the attraction of uh, uh, welcoming new members uh, and also how to create like, a vibrant community. Um, those two in particular, but we find it very interesting. I can share with you that. Uh... The, usually we have um, what we call workshops where you decide on a topic, you go into a room and a couple of clubhouses will give a presentation. This year the setup is different. Uh, so we have these forums and it will start with a presentation of the people doing the, the, the pr presentation and also the panel discussion. But for after that we will run a video that has been prepared in advance where we have worked with clubhouses to do a cool little thing about the topic that is for the forum. So there is a lot of really exciting videos for everyone to see. And after that video is played, there will be a live panel discussion. So it will be different panels in throughout the, the forum. So when a forum is played five times during the week, it will be five different panels. And then the panel will have a discussion on the topic for the forum. And after that live discussion, there will be time for Q&A from the audience. So the audience will not be, if you are attending and not a uh, panel discussant, 
then you will be in the audience and uh, you will not be on with video, but you will have the opportunity to ask questions in a Q&A chat. So you can put your questions to the facilitator and the, the panelists, and then you will get an answer to your question. You can also comment on the, the video presentation and the discussion. So we hope to get a lot of interactions in the Q&A session. And also because we would very much like people to get you know, a little bit of that feeling of being together with so many other great colleagues from clubhouses around the world. So there will be part of the both the opening and the closing session where you will be able to meet on video and you will have you will have the opportunity to to meet and talk to someone that is from another clubhouse, maybe in another country and in another time zone. So we hope everyone will also get that feeling of being part of an international uh, community. So let's just uh, go back to the, the, the seminar and hear how you are planning uh, to join the seminar um, or participate. Have you talked about how you will do it in your clubhouse? I mean, the forums will start in the afternoon and are you watching them in groups or how have you decided to do that? Uh, yeah, um, although, like I said, I've only been there for three weeks. So I've had at, uh, I have attended a few meetings where we have uh, planned uh, what we're going to do. We're planning to convert the top floor of the house, the fourth floor, and completely uh, redo it as a sort of like a seminar uh, uh, where everyone is going to come together. And uh, um, uh, me included with, uh, with some of the other members as well are going to attend the, uh, the seminar for the first time. So we're so excited to, to be a part of it. And uh, yeah, we've just been delegating where everyone wants to be, like me being here today. And other people are going to, some other people are going to, some of the members are going to attend the panel discussion that's going to be next week yeah, with uh, some of the employees as well. So it's, uh, yeah, we're excited, definitely. We're looking forward to it. And on Thursday, we're gonna all go out to eat uh, together as a group to celebrate uh, <laughs> the conference. So it's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a good week. It's gonna be exciting. That's, I mean, that sounds so amazing. I wish I could go to us <laughs> and attend your little conference in the conference. And is it at the top floor that was built uh, like four or five years back? Is that where you're doing it? Oh, so yeah, just for, yeah. for people listening, the 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 the, the Fontaine who sit in Oslo, they build an additional floor to the clubhouse. Is it like five years back, and it's just an oh. amazing floor? You can, you know, the view there is fantastic, and the rooms are just light, and I just love being there. So I could, I can just imagine it will be so great that you can attend the conference on the on the fourth floor in the clubhouse. That's really great. So is yeah. there anything you have noticed, you know, that stands out in the program this year? You talked a bit about those two. You definitely know that you will be uh, uh, be joining of the forums, but do you have any other comments for the program that we could talk about or you want to share? Um, we, we haven't really thought about uh, more than we just said, but I, I'm looking at the program here and the dimensions of, of uh, wellness, the clubhouse way. Uh, wellness is a topic we, um, we are trying to figure out how to use that standard here. And we're always trying to figure out new ways of doing it. Uh, so I think that is also a very important topic and definitely something we will participate in uh, from our house, do you reckon? Yeah. Sounds good. I'm, I'm personally looking very much forward to that uh, forum as well, because wellness is a thing that we are challenged by, but that we have so many great ways that we can include in our clubhouse. And we really want to urge the clubhouses to, to be more aware of wellness and how to integrate it in the work order day. I think as well to mention with the program this year that typically I said we have a lot of workshops and this year we have the forums. So nice. we went from around 60, 70 workshops to these just 15 forums, uh, but we have chosen topic that is uh, relevant uh, to young new clubhouses and startup groups. So uh, we have around five forums or we have is it five or six forums relevant for young clubhouses and startup groups? 
Then we have forums that are relevant to our veteran clubhouses. And then we have also this year decided to have forums specific for external guests that are not uh, familiar with the clubhouse model. So we have three forums that are for external guests where they get information about how to operate a clubhouse, what kind of fundings are the clubhouses receiving? Why is it? Why does it make a difference to have a clubhouse in your community? So we really hope to cover the interest with everyone in our community, so everyone can can go back to their clubhouse with new ideas and great things to try out. So I just want to talk a little bit about the seminar uh, two years back when we were in Oslo and Ingrid. That it must be you who can can you know answer that but uh, i just want to hear what you find was the best part of the seminar uh, when we were all um, together in 2019 well there are so many things that i could talk about but one thing is um, uh, at the opening seminar of course you know that we planned it for a long time and then many groups and many people were involved and that when we sat down at that opening seminar and everything got together and all the people and that feeling, that was just something different. It was fantastic. We were so proud and so happy of the job we had done. And we knew, of course, there were uh, some days left that we had to organize and uh, be on top of it, but it was, it was a great feeling. Uh, and also, when it all finished, the feeling uh, in our clubhouse, the, the one, oh, yes, we did it, yes, we made it, just something they, that we hadn't experienced before. Uh, so it, it took a lot of work, but it was great. And we found it, or we found that it turned out very well. It, it, I, I agree. I think it was an amazing uh, world seminar back in 2019. I'm also curious to hear how, how did you, in the planning, because not everyone can attend the seminar, but how did you include as many people as possible in the planning? And how did you get, get your board involved? Can you share a bit about that? Yeah, so I think we started probably one and a half year prior to the seminar, or maybe even two years. Um, we made small groups uh, that had different subjects uh, that they should coordinate and plan. Um, and each month we had like a coordinating group, uh, which members from each of the small groups got together and um, and talked about, okay, this is how far we have come. This is what we have left to do. Um, and when it started like in um, uh, in the springtime we had uh, more of those uh, coordinating groups and much of our day-to-day -day work were about uh, how, how will we uh, plan this uh, seminar uh, so we got a lot of members involved the board was involved uh, of course other clubhouses here uh, and Fontaine's Norga um, were involved. Uh, so, of course, we didn't do all of the work, uh, but many, many members and staff members and board members were involved. Sounds great. I, I can almost hear that Oslo is ready to, to host it another time. It was <laughs> <laughs> some years, <laughs> but it, it was a great way of, uh, like, I think we increased the daily attendance uh, in that period and um, yes. having like a goal, a common goal in the clubhouse, it felt yeah. very good. Um, yeah. And also because it's, you know, there's so much interesting work to be part of when you're planning a seminar. And I mean, I know from this process we have been through now that, you know, just talking to so many, so many people and, you know, discussing the topics and, you know, all the small stuff that you need to prepare and, and I know that, you know, when it's a, uh, an on-site seminar, you know, making the name tags and just there is so much great work to to do. And that, you know, having then the, you know, the culmination of it uh, all when you uh, when you have the actual seminar, that's that's an amazing feeling. Hmm. I I actually think I have, you know, 
yeah, shared the questions with you that I had prepared, but I am just curious to hear if there's something you want to share with our uh, viewers, people viewing this, or if you have any good advice for, you know, preparing for a seminar. I mean, I just think your idea about, you know, dedicating the entire floor is just so great. <laughs> It is, it is. Yeah, we're so excited for it. Um, it's my first time, and like I said, like uh, some of the members, even some of the employees as well, it's uh, it's their first time as well. So we're so excited for it. We're gonna try to attend as much as we can, and uh, yeah, we're we're expecting it to be a very good experience for us, all of us. So. And I just really want to encourage you. Now it is your first international experience. That you know, make sure to reach out on the Hoover app where we have the. Um, conference. There is several opportunities to get in conversation with other attendees and meet meet colleagues from all over the world. So make sure to use all the the different great opportunities that is in the conference app. Um, and I I mean I am looking so much forward to seeing you next week in the seminar. And I just want to thank you so much for taking time to meet with me today and have this conversation. And uh, I will see you next week. See yeah. you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Goodbye.